In addition, the Wuhan P4 laboratory, the Wuhan Institute of Virology, has three different powers behind it. One of the most important people who is in charge of it, whose surname is also Guo, is from Hubei province. This person has spoken many times in the military, especially in the CCP's Central Party School, saying that CCP must be prepared for large-scale attacks on the world. The best way to fight a destructive war is climate warfare, biological warfare, including geographical warfare using geographical science, which means changing the entire geography of enemy countries, such as earthquakes. This person talks the most about climate war, and the West has started to pay attention to him. This person is one of the people who control the P4 laboratory. His background is CCP PLA. He has said many times that in order to attack Taiwan, the CCP needs unrestricted warfare against Taiwan, even leaving Taiwan with half of its population, which is to push Taiwan to a limit when they have to accept reality to unify with China. Their ultimate strategy is to use climate warfare by causing natural disasters to Taiwan, which is the most suitable place for the CCP to start climate warfare, such as earthquakes, typhoons, torrential rains. Likewise, for Japan and the United States, the CCP doesn't need kinetic war. It can use climate war, physical war, and biological war. All these war strategies were the idea of that person. I talked about this in 2017. Once I asked people from the PLA how they were going to attack Taiwan, the person said that U.S. missiles cost 1 million U.S. dollars per shot and 5 million U.S. dollars per shot. The CCP's missiles cost only $10,000 and some cost only $3,000. The CCP doesn't need GPS because the CCP didn't have the Beidou satellite at that time. They will use the built-in navigation system. That is, the missiles are launched blindly. Taiwan is too close to China. As long as the missiles can land in Taiwan, the worst scenario is that the missile will blow up Fujin at the same time. If the CCP attacks Taiwan, they won't care about children and women. They will blow them all up. They will even blow up their submarines to blow up Taiwan's oceanic plates. And they have studied Taiwan's oceanic plates. From the South Island to the North Island, there are about 70 oceanic plates. The CCP can use submarines or underwater bombs to blow up any of the plates to cause an earthquake in Taiwan. But the worst thing is that they won't be able to control the magnitude of the earthquake. It could be 6, 7, or 8.5. They are monsters, they will do it. Then the CCP will say it's God punishing Taiwan. I have personally heard many times that the CCP, including the PLA fleet in Qingdao and the entire submarine fleet, have said to my face that Taiwan will be finished after a few earthquakes, or some earthquakes in the southern area of Taiwan and some in the northern area, leave the center of Taiwan, they will be finished. They also said that if the United States joins the war, the CCP will use American missiles to attack Taiwan to cause the earthquakes. If the earthquake is less than 7.3, Taiwan is half gone. If it exceeds 7.8, Taiwan will be completely gone. The CCP would rather sink the island of Taiwan so that the West can't make it their aircraft carrier that never sank. More than a few people in the PLA have said that. In 2007, before Xi Jinping became general secretary, I heard that he had a meeting with military personnel. After the minister of defense got drunk and caused trouble at the Xishan Hotel, it was almost the time when Xi Jinping had already taken power. Guo Buaxiong and Su Tsai Ho were already in danger. That's the first time Xi Jinping revealed his ambition about Taiwan. He told everyone that the Taiwan issue must be solved during his term, and if it can't be solved through negotiations, they will use war. But no matter what, China must take Taiwan. If the United States or other Western countries get involved, they will be destroyed. The CCP can't let Taiwan become the 57th state of the United States. These are the original words of Xi Jinping. To this day, Xi Jinping has never changed his mind. Especially after the Russia-Ukraine war happened, our fellow fighters within the CCP said that Xi Jinping was excited about the Russia-Ukraine war and considered the war a good example for them, and they will study it thoroughly. The war proved that they must take Taiwan quickly and relentlessly, regardless of any sacrifices. Right now, the CCP is going crazy, just like a series of things it is doing domestically, and it has just been announced that the CCP and Russia are going to form the Triangle CCP-Russia alliance against the U.S. They have a series of strategies to carry out the tactical threat to the U.S. and to provide Russia with weapons beyond people's imagination. And on the Taiwan issue, I heard that the CCP has issued a final call to the Taiwan traders, asking them to be prepared to act according to the plan, the ABC plan. What is the ABC plan? It is that when U.S. officials visit Taiwan, such as Speaker McCarthy, they have to make it look like the Taiwanese people do not want him there. The Taiwanese people would protest his visit, even detain him in Taiwan. They have to create all kinds of chaos, and then they would call on the PLA to liberate Taiwan, no matter what, all fake, and all bad for Taiwan. But I think the people of Taiwan have no choice. The United States, Europe and Japan are very clear now, 
Although two or three months ago the mainstream media around the world were saying that the CCP would attack Taiwan in 2035, what a joke. Only the NFSC, the whistleblower movement, will tell them the truth, not in 2035, but in 2023, the CCP will definitely take action. They wanted to make a move last year but couldn't for some reason. 